Good morning and welcome to Financial Friday. And today's topic is pricing for profitability. And I want to touch this one because it comes up so often in so many different formats and so many different ways. Now, this is not a, I'm not going to get into, you know, how you price. There are a lot of courses out there on that. I just want you to think about pricing for profitability because what I commonly see is how much should I charge for X? And that's across the board. So I don't want, you know, I know I have a lot of people that follow me that are um, in the same industry as me. I'm not just speaking to that industry. That's across the board. That's regardless of what someone is selling, you will see a post and it'll just have an image and how much should I charge? And then people start throwing out prices. Okay, so here's my my problem with that. I need you to be thinking about that in a very different way. When you're asking someone, how much should I charge for this? They have no clue how much it costs you to make that. They have no clue how much the thing that you want to price on costs. And so if you are taking the pricing of people who are just throwing out numbers without factoring in the cost, and if they didn't ask you how much it costs and they just threw out a number, what does that number really mean? So you're not really asking people how much should I charge for this? You're asking them how much would they pay for it? And that's two different questions. Because knowing how much someone would pay for something is a valuable piece of their information, but it is meaningless to selecting your price if it's not based in your cost. You always have to consider your cost because I can tell you to sell whatever it is for $10. It's just because I want to spend $10 on it. But it may have cost you $20 to make the item that I'm selling you to spend to sell for $10. And, or I hear people say, well, this only cost when they refer to their materials. But when you're looking at your pricing, like I started off with pricing for profit, you want a price for profitability. When you're looking at your pricing, you're not just looking at how much your materials cost. You have to look at how much time did it take because you have to pay yourself for your time. Just like you're, if you work a job or if you work a job, they pay you so much per hour or they pay you so much annually in a salary. So you have to look at how much time does it cost, how much time cost is involved. You have to look at your overhead as a business owner because even if you're working a home-based business, you still have overhead. You still have marketing expenses, you still have marketing materials, you still have, you know, lights and everything else that are being turned on. Yeah, you, you may be paying your light bill through your personal finances, but your lights are on more because you're at home working more. So that that's a cost factor. So you have to consider all of that when you're looking at your pricing, not just what somebody says that they would pay for it or just an arbitrary markup amount and not just looking at will it cost me five dollars in materials so I'm going to sell it for ten dollars and I'm getting a profit of 50 percent that's not true because how long did it take you to make it might have been ten dollars in materials I mean ten five dollars in materials for a ten dollar product but that might have cost you three hours in time to make and how many other things could you have been doing for three hours if you were at your job for three hours how much money would you have made so you know again I'm not teaching a course on pricing But I do want you to start thinking in that way and stop arbitrarily pricing things. Make sure you know what your profit 
point is. Make sure you know where you have to be at minimum. And then from there, with perceived value and other things, you can then decide what the price is because the price doesn't have to be exactly that number. It can go up from there, but it can't go below there because below there, you're not making a profit. So I want you to take some time, look back at what you are working on and what you have out there, products and services, because you also have to think about with, you know, intangible products and services, you know, courses, those types of things. You also have to think about those and the amount of time that goes into it and getting that money back. So how many, if I price it at this, how many do I need to sell to be profitable? So you want to look at those things for your products, your services, and make sure that you are covering everything that you need to cover to be profitable because you don't want to continue to work yourself to the bone to realize that you're not even turning a profit. The whole point of business is to make a profit off of what you're doing. And if you are, if your number, your final number is way off from that number that people would pay for that product, then adjust the product, but don't don't lower your price below what's profitable because now you're losing money. And I don't want you to continue to lose money and not realize it. So look at what you're working on. Try to make those things profitable. Shift them into profitable gear so that you can turn a profit in your business and alleviate some of the stress because when you're not making money, it is a stressful situation. So I hope this tip was helpful. You can always go to our website, yourworkflow.com, and to our resource center and get more information about pricing for profit. There's actually a video there that I find very helpful when looking at pricing. It's specific to the balloon industry, which is the industry I'm in for my other business. But the information there is translatable over into other things. The overall concept is translatable. So take a look at that. Start pricing for profit so that you can start to see strides and gains in your business. That was a tip for Financial Friday, and I will see you next week.